Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I am back to show you guys how I'm doing my weekly planning for our habitat study. We're going to be starting our study on um, biomes and habitats. So again, I start with my lesson planning sheet. So yeah, we're going to be doing biomes and we're going to start on Monday. And again, because we have a holiday this week and some other stuff and this is our technically our first week of the new school year. We may be on this for two weeks as opposed to just one week, but still I think it's a good a good way to show you guys how I'm, I'm doing our weekly planning. So, this is my sheet. I got my books that we're going to be using, which is my book. Um, first, here's my box. So I start with the big old empty box and I have my book. My book that we're going to be using is What is a Biome? And what I did was I looked through the book to look at, look at the various topics that we're going to be going over. What is a biome? What is climate? Um, that's going to be important in a minute. Um, and then an introduction to the different types of biomes that there are out there. So got my book. My book is going in my box. Next, um, I have my worksheets. My worksheet that we're going to be doing is write biome definitions and related definitions and I got this off of Enchanted Learning. I have a membership with them and we're going to be doing biome, uh, what part of speech, definition, use it in a sentence, wetland, tropical, temperate, prairie, ch chaparral, inter <clears throat> intertidal zone, rainforest, tundra, and tiaga. Um, and so those are the definitions that we're going to be doing. We may add some other definitions. Um, they're all going to have a notebook for this project, so we may put some different words in our notebook, but this is going to give us a really good start. And if things get busy, if I'm not, you know, if I don't get around to adding some new things, I know this is in there and it's ready to go so we can work on this because we can always add additional definitions as we go because this is going to be a project that we're going to be on for a year. So that goes in the box. Okay, so um, for videos, so I got videos on here and I have a note that I have my what is a biome playlist on YouTube. So you guys can see that playlist, of, um, it's available, it's public on my YouTube channel. Uh, but basically there's a video on what is a biome, where kids are talking about it. There's a Bill Nye the Science Guy video on um, habitats I think. And there's um, a song that's really cool on um, biomes, and I think we're gonna play around learning that song, but it's it's there and it's available. And then I have hands-on projects, and it tells me that these are gonna be DIY projects of put together a botany kit and build an observer. And I have listed the DIY badges, because my kids are involved in DIY.org, so I have a list of the DIY badges that we're gonna be working on, which is builds a botany kit and so what I did was I want my kids to be creative so I'm just starting them off with some ideas so these are going to be things that are in the box these are just um, pipettes um, little magnetic viewers these are uh, magnetic viewers that you can put like different uh, plants and, and little bugs and stuff in uh, tweezers little holders so all these little things they're gonna go into the box but this is not all that needs to be in their kit this is just gonna start them off and they are going to and then there's a, there's a couple other things I got like a funnel and some little things like this so this is not all but I wanted to give them some ideas to start to work from and then they can decide what else they want in their kits where they're gonna keep their kits that sort of thing, but this just gets us started so that we're not starting from scratch and we're not running around like chickens with our head cuts off, heads cut off, and we don't, we're not able to actually get anything done because I wasn't ready. The other thing that we're going to be doing is make a bio observer. I'm starting us off with just what we need to make a very simple underwater observer. These are just water bottles. I grabbed them out of our recycling bin. They will take off the labels. You just cut a little piece out and you can look inside, you know, you can look through it and you can see things underwater. There's another way to use these where they will actually cut off the bottom and turn it upside down and put dirt in here. They can choose any way to do it, but 
this is getting us started it's ready to go it's in the box so no matter if we do the more complex thing if we have more time or if we don't have a lot of time and we just want to make sure it gets done we can do the more simple viewer but these are in the box and they're ready to go okay remember um, I mentioned to you guys that I looked through the book and I saw that there there's a small section on climate and that was going to be important um, the reason is because I have a Thames and Cosmos climate and weather science kit and since understanding since one part of understanding how biomes work is understanding climate and weather which is a big part of what is going to um, grow in a in, in a particular habitat what's going to be able to live what's going to be able to thrive what's not going to work what happens if the climate changes all that's going to be important so we're going to have fun with this Thames and Cosmos climate and weather kit there are 23 experiments with this kit, so we may not do all of them right away. But we will start with one or two of these this week. So instead of me having a search on the shelf, of, I mean, it's not, not that hard to see. Books are a little bit harder for me to pick out on the shelf, but since it's, it's not that hard to see. But still, I am going to put this in my box rather than having to pull it off the shelf because I know it's down. I actually already opened it, even though I put it back in the box I opened I already opened it and um, I looked at the kit and I looked at the book to see can I do the first initial experiment without anything else well guess what it says for our first experiment number one what am I gonna need I'm gonna need the um, hemispheres from the tray so they're telling me that the hemispheres are already in this tray I'm going to need two rubber bands. Well, you guys know I have rubber bands already out in my other box. I'll just grab a couple rubber bands from there. They go into this box. Um, a wooden stick. I have a wooden stick ready to go in the box. A, a globe sticker sheet. Okay, the globe sticker sheet is part of the kit. Globe stand from the die cut sheet. This is already here. It's in the kit. And then glue or tape. I got glue and tape ready in the box, ready to go. So even though this is actually in the box, I look at the kit to see what's necessary so that everything that we need to be productive, everything we need to get going and start, it is here, it's in the box, it's ready to go. Um, also, one thing that I didn't have that I had to grab from my other box, um, if you watched the other video, was my scientific method sheets. This one is just printed on white this one is printed on orange um, I I'll print some more but my computer actually isn't here right now because um, I, I went out and I got a Mac and so I took it back to the Mac store so that they could transfer everything that was on my PC to my Mac so um, hopefully it's done today fingers crossed um, but um, in this this is but this is the scientific method graphic organizer I got this off of Enchanted Learning well, how do we use it? The experiment title, observe, and state your question. So basically, this is going to be what is our thesis statement? Gather information. We, this is going to be what informed, um, or this is like what's the question that we're going to be doing? What's in, what information are we using? Um, what's our hypothesis? Test the hypothesis, and then um, did the results support the hypothesis, or did they not support the hypothesis? This is for the Wonder Twins who are in second grade, okay? So Speedster is going to have a little bit more complex of a chart that he fills out, but this is the Wonder Twins chart. Again, it's, it is off of the Enchanted Learning. So experiment title, observe and state the question. What are we really looking at? Um, this is gathering information. What information did, did we use? And they'll be learning how to cite their sources in here. We're going to formulate our hypothesis, we're going to test the hypothesis, and then did the results support or not support the hypothesis. So, those are their sheets in the box. And then, also, my lesson plan goes in the box as well. So, to start our biome study for this week, everything that we need for our study and our experiments right here in the box, including my lesson planning sheet that's going to remind me of my what 
you know, that my playlist is there, what's on my playlist so that we are ready to go for at least a week, maybe even two weeks for our habitat study. So this is um, how we, how I am doing um, lesson planning each week, how I'm doing our weekly planning. Like I said, some people, they use um, different methods. Some people use the workbox method, but you guys know I have a lot of stuff. I have really big stuff, so the workbox method doesn't really work for me. And I do this more for when we have group projects as well, but I like to make sure that every single thing is in there and it's ready to go. I do also um, boxes for Salamander because he has more of a, like a more of a Montessori approach to his um, second grade. So, um, whereas uh, Faster Fox, she actually really likes more of online learning, so she does a lot more online, but Salamander does a little bit more hands-on. So, um, his stuff is in there, but everything, I try to make sure that we are all set and ready to go so that nobody's running around like a chicken with their head cut off. Nobody's trying to figure out what happened and why, but it's all there, it's all ready to go so that when the school day starts, we are ready to jump on it. So I hope this helps. This is Dr. J and I'm out. Bye-bye.